The British physicist Paul Dirac, who won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1933, made a most important discovery. This finding, known as parity, revealed the duality known as matter and antimatter. Antimatter bears the opposite characteristics to matter. For instance, contrary to matter, antimatter electrons have a positive charge, while protons have a negative electric charge. Nobody was aware of this scientific fact when the Quran was revealed 1,400 years ago. Yet, it was clearly revealed in verses that everything in the universe has been created in pairs. A verse in the Quran shows this as follows. Glory be to him who created all the pairs, from what the earth produces and from themselves and from things unknown to them. Up until 20 years ago, it was believed that the smallest particles were the protons and neutrons that comprise the atom. However, advances in science and technology disproved this. It was realized that the atom, regarded as the smallest unit of matter, could be divided into even smaller subcomponents. A specialized branch of physics emerged to study these subparticles and their particular behavior. Particle Physics Particle physics research has revealed that the protons and the neutrons that comprise the atom actually consist of subparticles known as quarks. This fact only emerged in the last century, but it was revealed in the Quran. He is the knower of the unseen, whom not an atom's weight eludes, either in the heavens or in the earth, nor is there anything smaller or larger than that which is not in a clear book. In another verse, God tells us that, Not even an atom's weight eludes your Lord, either on earth or in heaven, nor is there anything smaller than that or larger which is not in a clear book. This verse refers to atom and smaller particles still. The fact that there are even smaller subunits was imparted to humanity in the Quran 14 centuries ago.